Yo guys, what is going on? Nickname is just yellow and uh, today this Norwegian hardcore PC gamer will uh, talk about some stuff that you've probably not heard too much about before in terms of talk. So, uh, Counter-Strike, but also other games, they have something that is called a replay ability or a demo file or like some kind of function that will allow you to record the game as you're playing it or something that is uh, just gonna be rolling in the back so that you can, you know, choose whether or not you wanna replay stuff later on. Uh, Counter-Strike got this, um, a couple of the Call of Duty titles that were actually a little bit good also have this, um, but you know, Call of Duty is now going down the drain, so that's cool. But the thing is that I wanna talk about this as a whole and address problems, especially related to Counter-Strike. Strike that are appearing with these kind of things, just obvious bugs that should get fixed. Uh, but also, as a whole, I want to talk about how the, uh, this kind of system works and how it has a massive flaw that just it needs to get addressed because it's very annoying and it makes stuff look very legitimate when you're watching replays, um, you know, back to back, uh, for you know, from after you're playing it and or you're watching some kind of videos that I've recorded from Counter Strike and you're like, wow, that play looked really fucking fishy. Yellow is probably a cheater. I don't g really give two shits in a fuck. I can't even like this apartment I'm living in. It can't get fiber, so I'm you know. The best thing I could do is to try and record this stuff live, but what good would that do? That's not fun at all, and also it drains your FPS, so what the hell is the point of that? But that bullshit aside, you know, when I'm playing stuff legit, it doesn't get any better when the demo file that is recording what I'm doing live anyways, like, that is bugging up too, because that makes stuff look even less legitimate. So, let's talk about s examples of this, alright? So one of them you'll be able to see in the gameplay in a, just about a second. It happened in this Supreme game right here. And while you can see that it has been fixed to a certain degree, the synchronization of when and what happens with smoke grenades, like when that happens, um, it has been fixed a little bit. But it still is very unsynchronized towards what is actually happening. And what this means is that suddenly I kill a guy and I'm looking through a smoke. In reality, when I was actually playing it initially, and if I theoretically had fiber internet to be able to stream, um, you would be able to see that I actually saw the guy, like, without any smokes in, in the way. Or maybe I was shooting at his flare through the smoke, like, you, you never really know. But the thing is that, then when you look at the replay, the, like, right here, for example, the smoke is still there, what the fuck is that? Like, yeah, yellow is obviously a cheater, you know, even I would have thought that if that was the live footage. But the thing is that it's not, so... When you're looking at the gameplays, you always have to, like, think one step ahead, because it's like, wow, okay, well, the demo file is bugged, and this is a highlight replay of the demo, okay, well, that really sucks, but that's the thing. But there's another bug as well, and you can see it when I'm scouting right there, you can uh, pull the video back if you want to see it again, okay? Shots and anything that you do and anything that you hit or, or you know, interact with in the game, it always has its lag kind of... Uh, fucking like thing to it. What, what am I? Characteristic. There is a good. There, there we go. That is the word I'm looking for. There's always a lag characteristic to when you're hitting somebody or when it actually happened when you're playing. Like th this, this guy being shot right there, for example. It feels like when I'm shooting and when I'm hitting the guy, it's lagged also when you're looking at the replay. Comparing that to what I'm actually doing in the game and right here, for example, I'm gonna get an ace. I'm gonna dink the living shit out of two people right here. It doesn't feel satisfying when you're looking at the replay, cause you, you know, you see, it's, it's almost as the headshot is lagged, this has to be fucking fixed, because it looks so bullshitty, you know? Like, it's not even that it looks like an illegitimate kill, because I was just running out there with a tech and just slaying these people because they're playing with weird equipment or didn't expect I, would, I was going to be there. You know, I just caught this enemy so hardcore off guard. Very nice ace, I would say. Not super nice, but, you know, I pleased myself at least. But the thing is that, like, the synchronization of what you do in the game compared to what is actually happening in the game, it's so unsynchronized when you're looking at the replay. It, this stuff just has to get fixed, you know? Like, I don't exactly know how, but I know that if you were to implement some kind of algorithm that would calculate, or not calculate rather, but let's say that it was always recording the actions of what was happening for every player individually uh, on the server, and then it would syn uh, last bullet kill, I was pretty lucky. Uh, and then it would uh, synchronize that stuff with uh, what you were doing, and it would nullify it based upon your lag compared to the enemy's lags compared to your lag, okay? So by, you know, doing some kind of fucking weird-ass math algorithm scanning bullshit, I am pretty sure that you could be able to come up with something that would purify to at least a certain degree hit registrations for a replay, let's say. Uh, or, in best, better case scenarios, you could just turn down the tick rate, because, you know, um, so and so many samples per second will be recorded by a server or whatever the hell you decide to do with, in Counter-Strike, in which ESEA, for example, they record uh, 128 samples a second when you're playing, uh, while uh, when you're playing Counter-Strike, 
uh, I think it's like 16 tick is being recorded or uh, samples, you know, and you're playing at 64, so it's obviously subpar. But when you are then comparing that to, let's say that you're purifying only 16 ticks instead of 128 per second, now suddenly Valve could actually broadcast throughout their HLTV, they could broadcast that 16 tick and they could synchronize it up with some kind of weird algorithm to, to a certain degree, maybe add a couple of, sec you know, like 10 or 20 second relay so that it would also get the time to do the processing. Now they could actually broadcast something that looks a lot more, you know, real life, you know, act, uh, almost as if you're actually spectating or playing yourself. Wouldn't that be fucking epic? I think it would. So hopefully people learned something in this video about the entire ordeal of stuff that is being recorded live, replays, how buggy they are, how I can't really do anything other than, you know, give me a, your fucking word until I get to fucking move and get fiber, and how this stuff maybe could possibly fix so that replays would look absolutely amazing compared to what we got now. So anyways, yeah, thanks for watching. If you want to support the YouTube channel, you should check out the description. Uh, and if you decide to become a Patreon, you will get some extra perks. Even though, again, all of you supporters are absolutely extra sexy and awesome. There we go. I just have to say it. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. And uh, don't get beast divine when you play.